Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today I have a quick Photoshop tip for you guys. Uh, if you would like to add borders to your photos, there is an easy way of doing this within Photoshop and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that now. Uh, when you import an image into Photoshop, it automatically constrains itself to the size of the image so you have no excess on the outside or I call it the canvas okay so what you want to do is you want to import the image or load up the image that you want to add a border to within Photoshop once the image is in Photoshop go up to image which is right up here go to image and then go to canvas size click on canvas size once you are there, you will want to make sure that relative is checked. So click on relative right here. Make sure that check is in the box there. And then what we're going to want to do is apply a border and put the dimensions right here. So the dimensions of this border is going to be uh, 0.70. So I'm going to go ahead and make those the same on the height and the width just to make them look uniform. And then the canvas extension color, this will be the color of your background. So I'm going to go ahead and make that a black background ground and then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now as you see here I have a black background that I have extended it to and then I also have a white background in which I did the same thing. Now you can do as many colors as you would like so I'm gonna go ahead and undo that now and then go back up to image and then go to canvas size and then make sure that relative is selected and then I'm gonna go ahead and input the 0.70 inches okay as my height and my width and then I'm gonna go down to my canvas extension color go to other and then once I am there I can actually pick a color so if I want it to be a light red color I could do that there and then click OK and I now have a nice light red color outside as a border to my image. If you have any questions on how to do this, put them in the comment box below this video. If this video helped you out at all, go ahead and click the thumbs up button and like this video. It does help me out. And if you want more videos such as this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I produce videos weekly on how to do different design techniques within Photoshop and Illustrator as well as much, much more within technology. Thank you guys as always for watching my videos and I will see you next time.